Yeah. What up, YouTube? D4G here, banging out another video. Today, we have what I like to call the best of both worlds. I'm going to be introducing y'all to a fragrance that has a combination of two of the most popular fragrances out there right now. So stay tuned. Welcome to the channel, man. To all my OG subscribers, what's good with y'all? To everybody that's new to the channel, welcome. Hope y'all having a blessed day. Over here on this side of YouTube, we talk about FFL, football, fragrance, lifestyle. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, as well as the bell notification so that you can be updated anytime we drop this content. I want to introduce y'all to a fragrance from our mouth that has a combination of Creed's Aventus mixed with Green Irish Tweed. The fragrance I'm talking about today is Le Parfait by Armand. Le Parfait by Armand. I like to call this the best of both worlds. Let's talk about it. Presentation. Presentation on this one is very nice, very simple. You just have a nice black front bottle, basically square shaped. Got Le Parfait up front with the Armand signature logo. Nothing on the sides, nothing on the back, nothing on the top. And then on the bottom, you just have your batch code, notes, information, things like that. Nothing too serious. Notes. Up top, you're going to have black currant, lemon, pineapple, as well as some bergamot. And, bro, that opening is straight creed of vintage, that, that. But then you have a mixture of the green iris tweed. You really smell both of them in the opening. And then in the mid, you have spicy notes, jasmine, as well as some rose. And then in the base, you got vanilla, musk, patchouli, and some ambergris as well. Pass method. Performance. Performance on this one is good. You're going to get around that seven to eight hour range with a great, great three plus hours of siage. Now, this siage last on this one is heavy. Like, it's heavy. Especially during those summer days, spring days. The siage on this one projects, the shit pushes off. This right here is a great, great performer. And again, around those eight hours of longevity, average, but with that siage, makes it a little bit more above average, man. Accessibility. This one right here is another one of those online only, but you can find it for a great price. This is around that $20 price range. And what you're getting for it, it should definitely be maybe around that $35, $40 price point. Cause this bitch, this bitch good. This bitch a banger right here. Scent profile. Now the scent profile on this, it is listed as a amber fragrance. With that being said, this fragrance is literally 50% Creed Aventus with 50% of green iris tweed. In the opening, you're gonna get that high citrus opening. You get a lot of lemon, you're gonna get a lot of bergamot, you're gonna get a lot of pineapple. Now the black currant, I don't know too much about that one. I'm not, I'm gonna keep it a stack. I don't know too much about that one. But as far as the pineapple, lemon, and bergamot go, you're gonna get that heavy up top. And surprisingly enough, you do get some of the spicy notes as well in the opening. And then as it works its way towards that dry down, that's when that musk patchouli, the earthiness of it comes out. But you also get some of that rose and jasmine that comes out as well. Almost every note that is listed in this, you can smell. Outside of the black currant, that's the only note that I'm just not really just smelling like that. But as far as everything else from the top, to the mid all the way through the base pleasant pleasant smell and you just you really get a lot of that Aventus and green irish tweed mixture situation situations on this this is a year-round fragrance you can wear this year-round whenever you would like this is a great fragrance for the daytime and evening and you can get away with it in date night situations as well but just know that when you move towards the winter time you're going to want to keep this during that daytime especially during the winter but during the spring summer and the fall especially if you're in more like the southern states spray that bitch up y'all it's gonna it's gonna do what it does it smells great great for those fun playful situations great to even be serious in has no limit in age range as well Older guys can wear this, middle-aged guys can wear this, younger guys can wear this. But it still has a nice serious nature about it that allows it to be so versatile. That way when you wear it, you can do a lot with it. Key takeaways on this, this shit is gas. This shit is gas, man. If you like Creed Aventus, if 
you like green iris tweed, Trez Nui, spray on you. If you want to know what this fragrance is going to smell like, take you Club de Nui Intense for Man and Trez Nui if you have both of them. Spray it on the strip, and that's basically what you're going to get. And if you can like how that smells, you're going to need to pick this one up because it'll just be a more refined version of both of them. I did it, so I know what it smells like. So trust me when I say that. It's a mixture of both of them. You spray both of those clones on a strip, you're going to have this right here. This is a smooth and great twist. Very bright, very vibrant, uplifting. This is a, this is a serious ass fragrance right here, man. This shit does a good job. You're going to smell great. You will get a few compliments with this as well. And you're also going to get those people that walk up to you thinking that you might be wearing Creed Aventus or a Green Irish Tweed. Either way, you're going to be smelling expensive as fuck when you rock this. That's going to be my video right there for the day, man. That's going to be the takeaway. If y'all have this, let me know. If y'all do the Club de Nuit Intense for Man and Trez Nuit, spray them together and then smell it. Let me know what y'all think about that as well because that's basically what you're going to be getting out of this fragrance right here. Drop them down in the comments to let me know what y'all think. With all that being said, let's get up out of here, man. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all have a phenomenal day. Stay up, stay blessed, stay on y'all purpose. D4G, truly blessed, destined for greatness. We out.